What's up guys, my name is Michael and Safari is by far the most popular app on the iPhone. And in this video, I'll be showing you some tips on how you can use it better. So when you open Safari, this is your home page. If you go to the bottom and hit this edit button here, you can make Safari look a lot better and a bit more aesthetically pleasing when you open the app. So turn on background image, you can choose your own or you can choose any of the default images that Apple has here built in. So I'll choose this blue one here. And then as you can see, now I have a background image and it just looks a little bit better when I open Safari. And this will sync across all of your iCloud devices. So your Mac Safari, your iPad Safari, all of those Safari apps connected to your Apple ID will now have this background image. So it just looks a little bit better on the eyes and uh, it's really pleasing to look at. So next up in iOS 15, Apple moved the tab bar down to the bottom. Now many people have been using Safari for years and they're used to it being at the top. Luckily, this is an option that you can change. So if you jump into settings and scroll down to Safari, the tab option is right here. So you can choose tab bar or single tab. Now the wording for this is a little bit confusing, but pretty much this will just change the location of the tab bar. So if I change it to where it says single tab, it'll move it back to the top, just like it was in iOS 14 and previous. If you're open in a bunch of websites and you want to get rid of all of your open tabs, you don't have to hit the tab icon and get rid of all of the websites individually. You can actually do this with a much easier gesture. All you have to do is press and hold on the tab button and then press close all tabs. And then you can do it way quicker instead of deleting each individual website. So this is a really good useful tip. I use this every single day. And speaking of closing tabs, if you jump into Safari settings again, you can choose to have web pages close automatically after a certain amount of time. So many members of my family use Safari and they don't close out their tabs. So this is a setting that I always set up on uh, my family member's iPhone. So you can see here the setting closed tabs. You can choose after one day, after one week, or after one month. Uh, me, I close my tabs all the time whenever I'm done with Safari. But if you're one of those people, one of those chronic users that always has hundreds of Safari tabs open, trust me, there are many people that do this. Uh, this can definitely save some RAM on your iPhone and even possibly some battery life. So turn on after one day or after one week, for example, if you want your Safari tabs to be closed for you. Next up is a setting that will save you some iCloud storage. So I don't know why it comes out of the box set up like this, but for some reason Apple does. So if you go into Safari settings once again and click on downloads, you can see the default download location is iCloud Drive. Now, whenever you download something from Safari to your iPhone, that's going to now be taking up your iCloud storage and Apple only gives you five gigabytes for every Apple ID. So you can change that to on my iPhone and there you go. Now you can save a lot of iCloud storage, anything you download from Safari now will be saved on your iPhone instead of taking up space in iCloud. New in iOS 15, Apple added a dictation button right to the home page of Safari. So in previous versions, you would have to click in like you want to visit a website and then the dictation button is on the bottom right there. But as you can see, as soon as you open Safari, there is a little microphone icon right there. So I can just tap this apple.com and it goes to apple.com. So this is very similar to what Chrome is doing and it just makes browsing the web a lot faster. So next, when you are in multiple websites, of course you can switch between your websites by clicking the tab icon and switching to your next tab, but you can also just swipe between your tabs like this and change your websites a lot faster. Apple added this in iOS 15 and I really like this UI change. So it makes it a lot faster to change websites when you're browsing the web. Another tip is you can see an overview of all your tabs simply by swiping up on where the website is. So you can see where reddit.com is. I can just swipe up right here and I can see an overview of all my tabs. Of course, you can still get to this by hitting the tabs button, but it just makes it a little more fluid and uh, gestures on iOS always feel way better than hitting buttons. So this is a way faster way to browse the web. Next up, if you want to capture an entire web page, you can actually do that with the screenshot gesture. So hit power and volume up on your iPhone and it'll capture a screenshot just like normally. But if you click on the screenshot and you click this button where it says full page, you can actually capture the entire length of the web page that you are on. And then when you hit done, your iPhone will give you the option to save it as a PDF on the files app on your iPhone. So this is a very powerful feature. And next up, a really popular one is the option to enter private browsing mode simply by pressing and holding the tabs button. So if you don't do this, entering private mode is actually a lot slower on your iPhone. So to enter private browsing mode, all you have to do is press and hold and hit new private tab and then you are in private browsing mode. And then you can see down there, it says private. Before, if you want to do this, you would have to hit tabs and choose this icon down here and then go back to your homepage. So it's a lot easier by just pressing and holding the tabs icon to switch into private browsing mode just like that. 
And the last one is once again inside of settings. So click on Safari and then scroll down a little bit where it says hide IP address and make sure that hide IP address from trackers is turned on. If this is off, you definitely wanna make sure this is on. Uh, iPhones are all about privacy and security. So this is going to hide information uh, from websites that you visit uh, and just make your iPhone a lot more secure. So make sure that hide your IP address is turned on and you'll have a lot less tracking when you are using Safari and browsing websites on your iPhone. So now you guys know how to use Safari like a pro. Uh, if you guys learned something new, drop a like on this video and comment down below telling me what your favorite tip was. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Michael and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.